This man is no stranger to the history of these woods. Nice old oak trees here. A massive big old tree. These are probably four, five hundred years old. Henry VIII probably alive when these trees were around. He's probably done what I've done, just leant against it while he's chasing the old deer. Almost like Robin Hood country. Expect to see a bloke come out in a pair of tights in a minute. It's John's job to manage the deer here. He's been a London gamekeeper all his life. There was a female here a minute ago. So she's got a baby here somewhere. Right now, he's looking for a fawn. At the start of the summer, the mother stashed their young in the grass. At this time of year, the females are dangerous. If they catch John tampering with their young, they'll attack him. We've got one just down here. It's 20 feet in front of me now. Hopefully, if I can just walk up to it and just hold it, you know, yeah. coming slowly, and keep it calm, there's less chance of it bleating. But once it bleats, we've got some girls behind us, some hinds. Once he bleats, we've got to get out fast because they'll come running. John wants to tag the young deer. They will not move for anything. Catching it is the easy part, but avoiding the attention of the females is the problem. Let me get an ear tag in fast, because... Number 10, there. Oop. Get out of here quick, here come the girls. Stay with me, John. See what I mean? You have to be careful. But I would back out now if I were you guys. She's gonna follow us, see? Just keep walking. The tags help track the fawns as they grow up. Come winter, many of the deer will have to be culled in the dead of the night. We'd all like to live in an ideal world where predators would take care of things, but we're not in that world no more. You know, if you didn't cull these deer, I mean, they produce us between 100 and 150 babies every year. And you've got to think, you've only got to give it three, four years, you'll have doubled your herd size. Then anything green you're looking at will be gone, because they've eaten it all. There'll be nothing left. Who wants a park like that?